Hi, so what I'm going to do is switch out this SSD with a 128 with a 256. So let me go ahead and uh, zoom in and show you how that gets done on the Optoplex 550. So I'm going to rest this right here. And you can see here that I have access to this. Now first, what I'm going to do is show you actually how to disassemble all of this. So first things first, and I'll show you how to take off the faceplate, you know, get out the DVD, and that takes about, you know, no more than five minutes. So let's get that started first. Uh, but when while I have this exposed, let me change that out, and then I'll show you how to disassemble all of this in order to access this M2. So let's do that first. So you can see right here, this is the old 128. Uh, gigabytes. So let me go ahead. There is this tab here and Dell makes it very easy. All you have to do is lift this up. So I am simply going to lift this thing up right here, lifting it up and this just comes out. So that's fairly straightforward. This is the 128. I am going to rest it right here. Now I do want to zoom in and show you how this works. So this is just a little pin, plastic pin, and um, it's a built-in, you know, you don't have to unscrew anything. It's just something where you just snap in. So I have my 256. I'm just going to slip it in here, like so, nice and snug. Now. I am going to push this down and, and you can see how it's just flush with that. So once I stick that pin in there, it's just going to automatically slip in and hold it in place. So um, that gets a little bit tricky when I'm doing it with the camera on. Uh, nevertheless, I'm <laughs> up to the challenge. Um, so, so what I'm trying to do now, all right, let, let me put it up like this, use two hands, so I have that flush, and now it's simply a matter of just pushing it in like that. So that's really it. That's how you install a M2 on the Optoplex 550 series. And let me go ahead now and show you how to actually access that so you could actually switch it out. So let me go ahead and open it up and show you inside. So, uh, you know, to open it up, you, you want to make sure this is actually right there. I'm going to pull it out. So I'm going to unlock it by pushing it over and then pulling it out. Let's see, it. pull it out. <laughs> Like this and you could see right here it has a hard drive tray uh, in the bottom there it has the M2 SSD and the M2 is comes with a 128 so actually let me zoom in here and give you an up-close look so you could see it has the two expansion slots right there um, to get this out, so to get the hard drive out, there's actually a, a kind of like a laptop's DVD player there. But to get it out, you have to take out the front plate. So let me twist this around and show you that in a little bit more detail here. So just getting the front plate, you have to take these tabs, lift it, lift all three tabs, and take it out like this that's the front plate you have to take that out in order to get underneath and it's not so bad so uh, just looking at it right here you want to take out this tray so when you take out this tray this hard drive tray you could see there's the screw holes here where you basically just fit the hard drive tray inside slip it in uh, you want to make sure to stick these tabs into the empty tabs inside. So let me let me show you that. 
So you could see there's two holes here. You want to make sure to fit those two arrows inside there when, when you seat this in so that it seats snug. Otherwise, um, it's going to be hard for you to take out. I have this right here. So let me just take this out. So you can see it seats in like that uh, after you slip that in first. So let me show the, you this again. You know, taking this out. So keep in mind, you know, there's these two arrows here. And then you slip it into the two tabs that I showed before. But once you take this out, now you could take out the CD-ROM and get into where the M2 is. So the reason why I'm showing you all this is because I am using this as my uh, basically TV computer, TV media player, where I'm going to stick in the HDMI. And uh, so this is basically a full-fledged desktop that's going to be my media player. So once I have that, you notice I, I push this over. So once I push this over, that unlocks it and I can lift this whole thing. Notice these two uh, things here where it rests on the edge. So you'll notice, right, it's resting on the edge. So that's why I have to take out the front face plate. And then also notice these here. It insets inside. So you have to take that out. So you, you could see there's these notches here, right? like the notch right here and the notch right here. So that slips inside here. So, so keep that in mind. You're slipping it inside and then you're pushing it down to seat it. And then to lock it, you have to push, push it over. So that's how you take it out. So let me zoom in here once again and show you those notches right here. So there's notches right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is unlock it by pushing it over. You notice it rests right on the, along the side. I am going to lift to take it out and then pull away from the notches. So once I have that out, you could see the CD-ROM is out or DVD-ROM is out. So once the DVD-ROM is out, it exposes everything else. So I'm just going to put this aside here a little bit. And you could see uh, the M2 is right there. And now let me assemble it back. So I'm going to assemble it back here. And you can see how quickly that could be done. So I'm just going to spin this around. It has the cable management here. And you can see that the extra SATA cable. Just want to make sure it's in tight. And that's the DVD-ROM. So once again, I'm going to slip it to its side here. Slip it right into its side. Take it down. Lock it in place. Pushing this forward. I want to put the hard drive tray back. So the hard drive tray, these two arrows into this particular slot here. Stick that in first and then lock it in so it's already locked in like that. Now I'm going to put the faceplate back. So if you want to, you, you could put the wires back in here by slipping it back in here for the cable management once again. This would also be nice for the SATA cable. So slipping that back in. Now for this face, face plate. Now for the face plate, you notice there are the hooks down here. You want to rest the hooks first at the bottom. So there's three of them. One, one, two, and three. So that's what I'm going to do here. You know, rest it into these slots. One, two, and three. So right like that. Just putting it in. And then snapping this in place. Simply like that. Hear that nice little snap. You know, check the sides. Make sure it's snug. 
So you can see right here I didn't do it really well. I'll have to check that again. But the other thing I wanted to cover, there is two USB 3s in the front, two USB 2s in the front. The power is also in the front. Um, and then this. So, and let me go back and do this again. So now this side is nice and flush. Right there, like that. It's all set. And put this cover back. So, so it's as easy as that. So there you go. That is the Optiplex 550. And uh, I hope this helps. Please subscribe. Ask me any questions you want. And, and I will check out the specs or whatever questions you have. Um, so there you go. That's really it. I hope this helps. So please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.